so real quick. Say cheese. Oh, hey y'all hey it is a uh cloudy sunday and i am about to head out i already got dressed um didn't really record all that because y'all normally see what um you know that typically looks like so real quick to give you the full view i am um headed out for brunch wanted to throw on some brown boots i really did not want to wear black i promise you i'm tired i think i mean i always wear black and i'll continue to wear black but like i needed a break so i wanted to wear burgundy but it's just it wasn't flowing and i can't make it flow so black it is now i'm about to run because i'm late so i completely forgot that it snowed this morning <laughs> And look at my car. I don't know where I thought I was about to run to when I have a whole entire car to clean off. So let me do that and then we'll be on our way to brunch. I'm good and comfortable. I'm about to take this makeup off and get into um, power and call it a night. I don't feel the need to do anything else. I worked on um, just worked on YouTube, like my YouTube channel. I worked on my blog um, this morning, and it snowed, and I just kind of like stayed in and got stuff done now that i've kind of like lounged around chilled um did whatever i could today because it wasn't like a day where i really need to get anything done um, at this point it's like nine something and i'm about to watch this show and go to bed get ready for marvelous monday um, but I did want to tell y'all um, about Cornbread Restaurant. I will be back. It was definitely a soul food, um, you know, just like a soul food spot, a soul food restaurant. It's very warm and cozy in there. Um, the staff is so cool and um, very helpful. The menu is uh, so nice. I mean, the fried chicken, shrimp, salmon. I mean, they just have, they have a good array of options, but it's not like overwhelming at the same time. Um, I had the salmon croquettes and green beans and... What did I have with it? Oh, mac and cheese. The mac and cheese was good. The green beans wasn't really my favorite. My sister had greens and yams. I liked her yams and her greens over my green beans. And the salmon croquette was really good. And she had rib tips. I wasn't going to try that. Um, but what else did I have? Oh, and I had... The drink, it is Peachy King. And honey, that's probably why I can't think straight right now. Is because of that drink. That drink was so good. It was so good. When I got home, I just <laughs> I just wanted to get home, take my pants off, chill, relax, get in a comfortable spot, don't move. Like I just felt so warm and cozy i don't know who made that drink with love but she made it with so much love and i appreciate the love she put into my drink okay um so yeah we'll definitely be going back there most likely hitting up like a happy hour um sometime during the week 
not this upcoming week, but you know, like in the future during the week, I think that would be a good little spot to hit up for happy hour. I would definitely recommend, I absolutely enjoyed being there. Um, but yeah, if you're in Metro Detroit area, it's, it's not near Detroit. It's uh, definitely in Southfield off Northwestern Highway. It is definitely a restaurant. I would say if you're looking for, if you're in this area, you're watching this video and you need somewhere to go, that is a restaurant I would definitely recommend. It's not really big, but it wasn't like extremely busy in there either. We didn't have any weight when it came to a table, so... Yeah, 10 out of 10, I would definitely recommend. Good afternoon, it is Tuesday. Yeah, it's now Tuesday. And um, I chill all Monday. Other than work, I just kind of like relax. I didn't do much of nothing. It was great. So today I woke up hella refreshed. Um, got up at like 6 this morning. Typed my blog post out for the day. Sent that. Well, set it up to be scheduled. Worked on YouTube. Um, I think I did something else. And that was all at like 6, 7 o'clock this morning. Then I started working my 9 to 5, and now I just clocked out for lunch. So I'm going to jump in the shower. I'm not really sure what all I will get done. I just have a lot of energy, but at the same time, like as of right now, I kind of want to lay down. But I still have some type of energy, so I'm going to utilize this energy by jumping in the shower i took my hair down out of those braids um it's nice and curly because it's been braided for weeks but it's dirty and it needs to be washed so i'm thinking later since i have this banana that's old and i need to do something with it so i think i'm gonna cut that up uh well no maybe blend it up with some oil um and do like a hair mask still to deciding on if i want to wash my hair in the first place but i need to go ahead and just knock it out and once i am off i still have some other things that i need to work on so today will just be a productive day in the house because i don't have like errands or anything to run probably not going to bible study so i'm just gonna use this burst of random energy to sit at my computer and get whatever I can get done. Yesterday, since it was a rest day, I decided to start Kings of Napa on the OWN network. I didn't know what I was getting into, but I can tell you the show is good. They said it's like um, our kind of people, but with the vine, with the um, a vineyard, because the family has a vineyard. The father was a surgeon who bought a vineyard, and then all this drama occurs um, pretty quickly. It's really good. Um, I think it's only like two episodes out. The third episode drops, I do believe, today. So. I won't be watching that because I got stuff to do. I watch TV when like, I allow myself to watch TV, basically. So it seems like I watch a lot of shows, but I really don't because I watch nothing live. I just watch everything like as I watch them and I have time to sit there and watch them. But I do make time for entertainment. And now that I think about that, I also have a whole other youtube video i need to be recording today too so your girl got stuff to do let me go ahead and get in the shower start my day because you know lunch is only for so long i'm out in the shower i'm about to get into this kitchen clean this kitchen up real quick so when i get off 
I can wash my hair. Oh, I don't want to. I really don't want to. sure I probably don't need another cup of coffee but I want another cup of coffee but at the same time I feel like I'm about to fall asleep and I guess it's because I got up early I don't know but I'm tired so I'm gonna drink another co cup of coffee and then by that time well I'm gonna make um, probably like a frappuccino real quick and then I'll be back to work chicken pot pie last night. Pop this in the oven. Baby, you don't know what you do to me. Between me and you, I feel like chemistry. I won't let no one come and take your place. Cause the love you give, you can't be replaced. So now, Turn me inside out, out, make my heart beat. Leave no one else, you're all I need. Personality, everything you do, it's me to love everything about you. Took a little quick break to eat because I was hungry, and now I'm about to um, bring y'all closer. Now I'm about to do this hair mask. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and say right here and right now, I don't know what I'm doing, so we're gonna figure this out together. So the girl said on the YouTube video I found, and if I don't forget, I'll try to link it below. But she said, take a banana, and I got this old banana. So let's go ahead and use this one, because I'm not eating this. But I know I don't need like the whole thing. So I'm gonna use like this much. 
Hopefully y'all can't hear my neighbors because they're loud. And then she said use um, almond oil and avocado oil. Well, she said one, use one or the other, but I only have like a little bit of almond oil. So I'm gonna add this in first. I'm gonna go ahead and add some of this too because my hair needs all the moisture it can get. wasn't much. And I'm gonna blend this up. Pray that it works. Pray that it's enough. Cause I don't feel like doing this again. Oh, and I need a shower cap, hold on. All right, so I thought I had a plastic shower cap and your girl does not. I'm gonna go back the old school way. Take a bag. Make sure it's clean. Put a bag on my head. And then I'll probably put my shower cap, my actual shower cap that I use daily on top of that, but I'm not putting that directly on this food mixture that I got going on. So let's mix this up. It takes a minute. Oh, wait. I think it's dripping. So I noticed that it takes a little minute um, because you want the oil to heat up. Once that heats up, it'll spray it and it'll help to mix that banana down. So it really just looks like a banana smoothie. See that? And I'm gonna put it in my hair, but really I need the moisture and the help at the ends. So if I don't have enough, it's fine because my main focus is on the ends. Now this is my first time doing this. We gonna see. I'm, I'm experimenting with y'all, so we gonna see together. Target can come this much in handy, huh? Didn't even know it. My shower cap on. I am gonna leave this on for maybe about 10 minutes because I smell the banana like really, really lightly. Not a whole lot, just a little bit. Um, enough for me not to keep this on forever. I probably will never sleep with this in my head. Um, I know some hair masks, depending on which one, they say you can leave it in overnight. And then there's others where they say just leave it on for a certain amount of time and then wash it out. So what I was originally trying to do was the Cardi B hair mask. But when I went to the grocery store, I did not grab an avocado. And I don't remember what else you need. But I know you need an avocado and I did not grab one. So instead, I just found a hair mask that had what had in it what I already had in the house. And I had a banana and I had some avocado 
in almond oil but like i said she says one or the other i do believe she gave the actual recipe like the amount of how much you should use um but if you know me you know i don't really be out here measuring nothing so i mixed mine up i realized at the bottom there was some chunks of the banana steel so of course i didn't use that part um i just used what was like grinded really really well and then I left the chunks in there. I'm, I'm not one that cares to waste almond nor avocado oil because oils are not cheap, but I don't really need the chunks of banana in my hair. Like that's, that's just doing entirely too much. Like this is already a lot. I don't feel like I need to go any further. Hair is washed. Something got in my eye. So it's like really red. I don't know what it is. Oh wait, now I can't feel it. It's probably a piece of hair, but I can't find it. So my, my eye is so red. Anywho, so now I'm about to um, dry my hair. <laughs> hair is washed and dried and Woo! that was a lot of work I'm tired so this is the end result because I'm done with my hair for the day let me pause this real quick so I'm sitting here watching how to master content creation with in your leisure podcast if you create content you just might want to watch this video. Um, it's on YouTube, but they are a podcast. So, you know, you can. Um... There we go. So you can um, listen to them like, you know, on Apple Podcasts and wherever you can listen to podcasts at. You can listen to them. Normally, I used to listen to them. Now I watch their YouTube channel and i really really like this episode it is very helpful they are going over like all the social media um platforms and like what's the most important when it comes to content creation this episode is so good earn your leisure how to master content creation so i'm gonna finish listening to this like i said my hair it will be like this um tonight i'm gonna probably take the ponytail out and just put a bonnet on just to let my hair breathe for the night before i braid it back up put that wig back on because um it was in braids for a while and i just feel like it needs a break and i feel like my hair wants to breathe so i'm gonna let it breathe i was definitely supposed to like wash my hair get dressed um well not like get dressed dressed but um, I don't know, get like decently comfy, cute, so that I can record a video today, but I have been very productive today. 
I've had two cups of coffee, which I honestly don't even know how great of an idea that is. And I'm like way worried that it probably was the absolute wrong decision. But here we are. And it's 6.30. And I'm sure there's some other things I could be doing. And I think I'm just going to record that episode tomorrow. <sighs> yeah, I don't know. What else I gotta do? Oh, I should probably return my friend's text. Let me do that.